let's continue with searching techniques this is part 2 but before we start with with this part 2 i i'll strictly advise you all to go back to part 1 understand the concept of heuristic function before you get started with this because if you've not seen part 1 you might just struggle a bit to understand what exactly am i talking about in this particular section okay let us get started with the informed searching techniques the techniques that we are going to start with are the hill climbing techniques there are two hill climbing techniques that we have simple hill climbing and steepest ascent hill climbing i hope from the previous video you all remember what is the idea of searching techniques and what is the idea of heuristic function so let us get started with simple hill climbing first off the two hill climbing techniques that we have now hill climbing technique be it steepest ascent hill climbing or be it simple hill climbing the reason why they are called as informed searching techniques is because they have a proper strategy for solving the problems and they also use the concept of heuristic function in simpler terms remember it like this any algorithm that uses the concept of heuristic function will always be classified as an informed searching technique okay so what exactly is simple hill climbing now please understand this suppose i'm starting with a problem where this is my initial state and my aim is to reach some goal state and this technique tries to give me the most optimal solution for reaching the goal state now initial state is the state where i begin with but then current state any state which is currently being processed is called as the current state obviously when i start the initial state always is the current state now I've, I've applied a rule or uh, I've applied a formula and I've got the heuristic value. This is the value that we have calculated. How, how this value comes in, you can see the previous uh, video and also in my next video, I'll take you through the numericals where we'll actually calculate these values. At the moment, I'll just assume that I've got this value, say 10. Now, how does simple hill climbing go about this? What I'll do is, of all the rules applicable on this state, I'll apply a rule. I'll get a new state, which I'll now call as the successor of this node. I'll apply a heuristic value. Now, suppose this is the heuristic value that I'm getting for this state. Now, whenever I get a successor and its value, I'll compare the value of this successor with that of the current state. See, I'm doing this because I need to decide whether this node has to be evaluated further or should I continue evaluating the current node, uh, the, uh, the current current state at the moment. Now, what I find is that this heuristic value is worse as compared to this. Smaller the heuristic value, better the state. So at the moment, I find that this successor is not better than the current state. So I decide to retain this current state. What that means is I'll continue solving this current state now. I apply another rule and I get a new state. I get the another successor. I'll compare the successor. Understand this, when I'm comparing the successors, I'm basically comparing their heuristic values. When I compare this successor with the current state, I, I find that this successor is better as compared to the current state. Whenever I get a successor better than the current state, then I'll make this successor as the current state. What this means is I'll continue for further by evaluating this particular. So what exactly is simple hill climbing? In simplest of possible terms, start with an initial state, Start with an initial state, apply a rule, get a new state, compare the successor with the current state. If the successor is worse as compared to the current state, you retain the current state. Else, if the successor is better than the current state, the successor becomes the current state and you continue evaluating this. At any point of time in between, if you get the goal state, you'll stop then and there. So this is basically the idea of simple hill climbing and this is how we'll write the same thing in the form of an algorithm. Start with an initial state. If it is a goal state, then return it and quit. Else compare the successor to the current state. If the successor is better than the current state, then treat the successor as the current state. Else retain the previous current state. Repeat until a solution is found or there are no rules left to be applied. Select an operator that has not yet been applied. Apply the operator to produce a new state and jump to step two. It, it is possible that maybe that the solution that I'm trying to find is not present in the solution. In that case, there will be a state where there will be no more rules left to be applied and that is where my algorithm will terminate. Simple hill climbing. Steepest ascent hill climbing. Now please understand this. Steepest ascent hill climbing tried to make an improvisation over simple hill climbing. What simple hill climbing did was, whenever it was applying any rules to a state, Whenever it got a successor which was better than the existing state, immediately that successor was made the current state and we evaluated that further. But steepest ascent hill climbing tries to go slightly ahead before it makes a selection for the new current state. 
So what exactly is sleep as acid reclaiming? Observe. Suppose again, if I start with my initial state and I'm looking for a specific current state, at the moment, the heuristic value that I've got is say 10. What I'll do is whatever rules are applicable on this state, this, this current state, I'll apply all those rules and get all possible successes. Now, once I get all possible successors, I'll compare all these successors. Now, over here, whichever is the best successor, here this appears to be the best successor, this now becomes the current state. So, steepest ascent in hill climbing says is, it shouldn't be like this, that if you get the first successor, which is worse, oh, sorry, which is better than the current state, you make that successor as the current state. It says, you get all the successors, you compare all the successors, and the best successor then becomes your current state. This is how you can go ahead and evaluate problems using steepest ascent hill climbing. Both simple hill climbing as well as steepest ascent hill climbing will give you optimal solutions. So that is what is the steepest ascent hill climb. Now, over here, this is the algorithm that you have for steepest ascent hill climbing. SUCC here represents the successor, right? Okay, so what's the algorithm? Start with an initial state, evaluate the initial state. If it is the goal state, then return it and quit. Else loop until a solution is found or until a complete iteration produces no change to the current state. Point number 3.1. See, basically point number 3.1 and 3.2 is the general logic that we apply for finding the smallest value in a sequence. Now understand this. I've got three values, 12, 8, and 5. I need to find the minimum amongst these. So the normal logic that we use, I'll consider the first value as minimum and then compare all that values to the existing minimum values. And if I get a value less than the existing minimum value, I'll change the value in, in, in that particular case. Variable SUCC in my algorithm exactly does the same thing. So that is what the algorithm is. Now, simple and steepest ascent hill climbing are two simple uh, techniques which we can apply for uh, solving problems in AI. But these algorithms do have their share of limitations or do have their share of problems. Now, what exactly are the drawbacks that I can come across or, uh, in hill climbing? What are the different places where I can get stuck up in hill climbing? And what are the possible solutions? Now, for hill climbing techniques, there are possibly three limitations or three drawbacks. What are they? First, local maxima. Now, if you look at both the algorithms that we just discussed, whenever I was comparing states with the current state, I wanted at least one state to have a value which is better than the current state. But what if a situation arises where I have an initial state with say value 10, which is now the current state also, and I get three successors and all values are worse as compared to the current state. If the values of all the successors are worse as compared to the current state, we call it as local maxima because I don't have a strategy here how this needs to be, how this can be tackled in hill climbing techniques. How about a plateau? Now, this in current state has a value 10. All other states will also get the same value. What do I do in such a case? Or maybe a ridge where all the successors will have a value worse or same as the current state. What do I do in such a case? Now, in all three cases, my hill climbing technique gets stuck up. So what are the three cases? Local maxima, where all the successes are worse as compared to the current state. Plateau, where all the successes are the same as the current state. And ridge, where all the successes are worse or same as the current state. In all such cases, both my techniques, simple hill climbing as well as steepest ascent hill climbing will get stuck up. So what do I do in such a case? Now, there are two possible solutions that I have. One is backtracking. You can you can backtrack to one of the nodes uh, in the in the earlier uh, uh, earlier in the in the graph or the tree and then you can start evaluating further and second is once you have such a situation with you you can just select any move at random and you can go ahead and evaluate the solution so this is how we can overcome the drawbacks of the hill, hill climbing techniques so this is as far as the theory part of the problem is concerned, sorry, the theory part of the algorithm is concerned. We now need to move on to the next part, which is the numericals based on hill climbing techniques. But that is what I'll give you in my next video. Thank you for learning with junk minds. Till then, uh, till we meet again, keep exploring, keep learning. Thank you.